All right, continuing right along with the install, um, naming the cluster cluster 555 for want of a better name. I need a distinguishing name, and we've got a couple of them on the network, so I just don't need any confusion. This is telling you how much drive space it needs. I know I've got plenty. And that'll work. MSSQL server. Next is coming up cluster resource group and cluster disk section selection. That's where all of the disks that I made will uh, come into play. All right, I'm going to select them all. It added one, but I'm taking them all. Disk 1 and Disk 6 is the Quorum and MSDTC, respectively. <clears throat> All right, we need to give uh, this an IP address and uh, to get off DHCP. And I'm going to make it uh, 200. It's going to be 192, 168, 59, 200. Next. What I did here was I browsed for uh, advanced, find now. I used the A, A, A plus domain administrator. Whoops, I got to put it back in. And uh, the same password. I filled them all at the same time by clicking on this button. This should work, giving it the administrator login. And it did. I'm going to add the current user here. We're going for Windows authentication mode. Administrator, next. Add current user, administrator, next. Install, but do not configure the report server. Yes. I'm not filling that in. Another test. Ready to install the SQL Server 2008 R2. Install. And now we have a wait. It will take um, a little while for this to finish. So I'll pause for a little while and pick it up when it's done. All right. As you can see, the installation of the first node is complete. all of these and hopefully start up the install here on node 2. If you go over here to node 1 you'll see um, all the new programs Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 and the Visual Studio, the tools that you need to work with it. Now that was the first node. So we will go again into installation of a cluster, but it is not a new cluster. We are adding a node to a 
SQL Server Failover Cluster. The same rule check. This one will be slightly different from the previous install. Some of the options will not be identical, but it's very similar to the first node. Here, if we go here and refresh this, <coughs> we should see the cluster here now under its own IP. What you do is you see the entire cluster, which is an aggregate of these two nodes. The, that's the cluster itself. We gave the cluster its own IP, DTC has its own IP, and A++ is the SQL cluster. What I'm going to do right now is um, disable firewall. Just going to completely shut it off on both of the nodes. Yes, click Next. That's our cluster. That's the name of the database engine. This is node 2. Yes. Next will be the service accounts like we did before, but you'll notice it'll be a little bit different because this is joining an established uh, 